the victim narcissist, the fragile narcissist. Now, somebody with CPTSD, a survivor of narcissism, a survivor of trauma, somebody with BPD can potentially come across as having signs of being the victim narcissist. People who are a victim or who have been traumatised in some way can display signs of a fragile victim narcissist. With a fragile victim narcissist, it is who they are as a person. It's a pervasive pattern of behaviour. It's their personality that they create their personal, personal reality around. While many people often associate narcissism with the grandiosity and the arrogance that many narcissistic individuals display, the fragile victim narcissist is usually more of a covert narcissist. Not all narcissists fit in one particular mould. The victim, the fragile narcissist, goes all out to use a lot of self-pity vulnerability and blame to manipulate and control situations and others to their advantage. With a victim narcissist, they have that relentless self-pity. The victim narcissist thrives off portraying themselves as the where is me, poor, helpless individual, expecting everyone to come along and dig them out of trouble time and time again and they just get themselves straight back in that trouble. They don't appreciate the help and the support that other people give them. They often blame other people for the mess that they've made. They frame every setback or criticism as a personal attack. They refuse to speak to people and then stand there complaining that nobody likes them. They seek the sympathy and the validation from those around them. Their constant complaints often leave those around them feeling ashamed, feeling guilty, feeling obligated into helping the fragile victim narcissist. These will go all out to shift the blame onto anybody else other than themselves. It's never going to be their fault. Rather than taking any form of responsibility for their behaviour, they're going to shift the blame onto others for their own failures, for their own mistakes. They'll stand there and claim, if it wasn't for you, nobody's there for me, everybody leaves me, nobody likes me. They're looking to deflect responsibility and guilt trip people into telling them how, how amazing they are and how much people do like them and do support them. They use a ton of dry begging to fish for the praise and admiration and the compliments. They also use a lot of emotional manipulation. They will go all out to exaggerate their suffering. Most people have suffered at one point or another in their lives. The victim, the fragile narcissist, uses this to their advantage to manipulate people. The fragile, the victim narcissist will go all out to guilt trip others into feeding them attention, doing favours for the narcissist, giving the narcissist a special treatment. The goal is to make other people feel responsible for their emotional state, even when it's not the other person's responsibility. They use a lot of passive aggressive behaviour such as the dry begging to get people to do things for them without directly asking and then claiming that they never asked you to do it. They rarely confront things directly. Instead, they resort to sulking, falling silence, the backhanded compliments, the subtle innuendos, the silent treatments to express their displeasure at you not jumping to their every whim. They keep people off balance. They get people running around after them, yet no matter what you do for them, it is never going to be enough for them. You can't make them happy because they're very miserable within themselves and they're looking to make everyone around them miserable so that they can feel better about themselves. They are the glass half empty on a permanent basis, even when things are going well.
They have that kind of martyr complex. The victim narcissists often present themselves as endlessly sacrificing for everybody else. They rarely do anything for anybody else and they even resent people doing things for them. They expect recognition, they expect gratitude for the things that other people have done for them. Any perceived hardship, they will play on and they will go all out to make sure that people believe that they're the ones that have sacrificed their time, their money, their effort for everybody else when they're actually bleeding everybody else dry. They have a lot of envy and resentment. They harbour that envy towards other people's achievements, possessions, looks, qualities, which is often when they go at people with those backhanded compliments and those subtle digs. Their envy fuels their own narrative within their own mind that they're unfairly treated, or they're overlooked, they've been wronged, everybody's out to get them, everybody's out to get them. Nobody understands them, nobody appreciates them, nobody cares about them, nobody's there for them. They have that exaggerated sensitivity with the double standards. So they can come at you with a backhanded compliment and when they hurt your feelings with their words, with their actions, if you try and express this, they'll just accuse you of being too sensitive. You need to get over it, you're hung upon the past. However, they are some of the most sensitive people you could ever meet. You don't even have to say anything to them. They get offended. You can walk in the door and the dog can run up to you first and you can fuss it. They've got the face on. Because how dare you speak to anyone or anything before you tend to then. When it comes to the fragile narcissist, they perceive most things as a direct attack on their fragile ego. They make everything about themselves, even when it was absolutely nothing to do with them. So then you find it challenging to challenge them on anything. They will use a lot of weaponized incompetence. So I knew it wouldn't be good enough for you, even though they're the ones who did it badly on purpose. When it comes to the fragile narcissist, it's recognizing the behaviors. It's recognizing the difference between someone who is struggling and needs a bit of help and appreciates the help and somebody who claims to be struggling so that they can get everyone to run around after them is incredibly ungrateful and accuses you of the one who is ungrateful. There's no helping the fragile narcissist. It is who they are as a person. The best thing you can do is help save yourself and give yourself the peace of mind from this individual by safely limiting contact with them or if it's if at all possible, going no contact. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partners with BetterUp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries, such as narcissistic individuals. I also have a narcissist handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse. Healing from narcissistic abuse, a guided journal for recovery and empowerment. 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people, how to stay sane and break the chain. And the new novel on the rise of the narcissist behind the mask which is going to be the first hopefully in a three-part series all these books are available on amazon if you'd like to go and check those out thank you very much for watching go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day bye